So let's talk about birth control pills. Um, birth control pills generally have a combination of estrogen and progesterone, and they're all mixed into one pill. They have all kinds of different variations on how birth control pills are formulated and work. Um, there's monophasic pills, there's triphasic pills, there's all kinds of, of other varieties. But the kind of idea is that for m most pills, there's about 21 real pills, which have hormone in it, and then there's seven what we call placebos, or fake pills, that don't have hormone in it. And generally, you have your period during those placebo pills or during the fake pills. So this is a package, sort of a typical package. These packages come in all kinds of shapes. There's round ones and oval ones and long rectangular ones and square ones. But in any case, here's a package of birth control pills. And what you can see is that there are two different colors of pills. There's 21, this is what's called a monophasic pill, which means there's 21 of one dose of pill. And this is a combination of estrogen and progesterone. And then there's these pink pills, which are just sugar pills. There's no medicine in this whatsoever. And so you start here, and you take one every day. And then when you get to here, you throw this out, and you open up a new pack and start a new pack. The truth is, if you didn't take these pink pills, and you just took nothing that week, you'd be fine. The problem is, then you get out of the habit of taking a pill every day. And so that's why they're generally packaged this way. Now, they also have what's called triphasic pills, where be, each row will be a different color. Um, and they have pills where they don't have seven placebos, maybe they only have four placebos or three placebos or five placebos. Everybody tries to package a little bit differently to grab a piece of the market share. People often ask, boy, what would be the best pill for me? And the answer is, honestly, almost any pill works for almost anybody. So you could prescribe, I could prescribe you any of the, the birth control pills on the market, and most likely you're going to be happy and you're going to think I'm a genius. Occasionally, people have some side effects with the pills. That's when we have to start thinking about subtleties and switching things around. And so generally, if you're on a monophasic pill and you're having uh, problems, I'll try you on a triphasic pill. And those kind of workarounds. There are some birth control pills that are packaged that you don't have a period every month. Um, there's one where you get a period every three months, and there's another one where you never get your period. Those can be very good, but some women tend to get some spotting after a while. So if you're on one of those pills and you get spotting, that can be more obnoxious or annoying than just knowing you're having a three or four day period every month. And so that's something that you want to talk to your doctor about and think about, you know, what will work better for you. But there's lots of ways um, that these pills are packaged, um, but this is kind of the, the general idea of birth control pills. The big complications of birth control pills are mostly rare, so there are um, very rare complications of things like blood clots. Some people's blood pressure will go up on them. Um, and some other rare issues. There are actually non-contraceptive benefits to birth control pills. For example, um, most people think that women that are on birth control pills for a long time have a lower risk of um, uterine cancer and even ovarian cancer. So those are some benefits. There may be a slight increased risk of breast cancer. That is always sort of fought over. No one's quite sure what the answer to that one is. Um, but in general, it's safe for most people to be on birth control pills for as long as they want. The only other thing is smoking. Smoking and birth control pills do not go well together. And in fact, it's almost considered malpractice to give a smoker birth control pills over the age of 35. So if you're smoking, this may not be the best option for you. And really the best thing to do would be to quit smoking. MedTwice.com